Live from downtown, here's KLST's Carolyn McEnroe, KSAN's Lisette Hernandez, and Joey Henderson from the San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Association. Good morning and welcome to downtown San Angelo. I'm Carolyn McEnroe along with Lisette Hernandez as we simulcast this wonderful rodeo parade for you this morning on KLST and KSAN. We also want to welcome Joey Henderson, the past president of the San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo. Joey, thank you so much for thank joining you, us here again today. Uh, looking forward to it. It's always fun. It's always fun. You know, we're back here again, finally. Uh, it's in April this year, but hey, it's still fun, right? Oh, it's it's a lot more fun when you're not freezing to death. Exactly. Yeah, we've had years when the hot chocolate froze on the table. Yes. I was just thinking uh -huh. about that this morning. And it is, it's a beautiful day, and there are a lot of people in downtown San Angelo along the parade route. To watch the rodeo parade this morning, we're at the corner of Concho and Oaks. And we will in just a second, there you go, the color guard and the dignitaries in the first part of this parade are just getting to our parade stand here as they'll make their, make their turn left and go north on Oaks. The parade run is a little bit different this year because of the construction at Beauregard and Chadburg. You know, they're fixing... <laughs> We had to alternate the route a, a lot of bit. Things, it's pretty much the same route through downtown San Angelo. They're starting at that staging area down on Irving and then continuing around. Let's talk about who all is in the front of our parade this morning. We have the Goodfellow Joint Service Color Guard. Uh, following the trucks, we have the Vice Wing Commander, Colonel James Finlayson, and Commander... K Chief Master Sergeant Casey Boomershine along with them. Both Casey and James were here years ago to train at Goodfellow Air Force Base and of course they've come back, circled back around to help operate the 17th training wing at Goodfellow Air Force Base in San Angelo and we're always so happy to have them. They make help not only our Veterans Day Parade but the uh, rodeo parade every year even more special. You know, they used to ride on horses a lot of times. We had city council members and some of the stock show association people, but these days getting these nice Dodge Ram trucks. Oh yeah, a lot more comfortable and they don't throw them off. That pavement's hard if you get thrown off a horse. There's Colonel Finlayson. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Uh oh, there's Mike Boyd, the president of the association. Guessing he was at the breakfast early this yes, morning he was. with you too. Yes, he was. He was. Shared a lot of exciting news about the stock show and rodeo. Of course, the stock show took place back in February. So well, we'll have to hear a little bit more about that. San Angelo Council members, city council members, are here, and there's Mayor Brady Gunter. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This, of course, is a city election year, Council Districts 2, 4, and 6, and the mayor's race, all up for re-election. <coughs> Good morning. They're escorted by Bob Bluthard and members of the Fort Concho Infantry. Good morning. I have one of our first members of our first riding groups in the parade this morning. Ron Perry with his number, number 49. <laughs> Four Concho Cavalry. Good morning. <laughs> he says he wishes he were 49. You are in spirit. Members of the San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Association ambassadors coming around the corner now. We got to see them last night. They did a fantastic retreat. It's always so nice to get to see them at every rodeo. Before. Those young ladies do an outstanding job. Spent a lot of hours practicing and make it look really easy. They do make it look really easy. And they're not going slowly when they go around that arena. No, they don't. Carrying flags. Take a look at that. Six white horses. That's been a tradition at Hardin Simmons for years. And they ride in not only rodeo parades, but lots of events around the state of Texas every year. Hardin Simmons University from Abilene. Joey, take a look at this trailer. Oh yeah, they got it. That's wow. That's really nice. That's quite All decked out. You got room for too. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight horses in that polo team. Here we've got a nice old, looks like a Pontiac GTO. 
Members of the GTO Club. And a shiny convertible. A 1964 GTO convertible. Here we have coming up is the early childhood intervention. Yeah, that's the fun thing about this rodeo parade. You see how many precious little children you can put in one of those flatbed trailers decorated for rodeo every year. <laughs> well, there's a fine lucky group. Look at the cow and the pig up there, the pigs and the cow. The baby sheep and the baby <laughs> pig. Oh, they're ready to rodeo. Yes. Nice and warm, a little chilly this morning. Here we have Kona Ice. They're always bringing the party wherever you need them here in San Angelo. They yes. might actually get to sell some of that this year. Now you can. Yeah. It's April. It's a little bit warmer. People might want some ice. <laughs> uh. Not so much back in the middle of February. So, Joey, what did you think about the rodeo last night? Oh, it was great. Uh, it was just an incredible crowd. The Coliseum was full. Uh, of course, the rodeo contestants did a great job. The committee can't say enough about the rodeo committee and the job they do putting that event on. You know, it's always so interesting to me about how this is one of the few rodeos anywhere in the country where we don't hire somebody to yeah. do it. It's one of the volunteers. volunteers. A thousand of them. Yes, and everybody just knows their job really well, gets it done. I think that's what makes this rodeo in particular so special. And yeah, they take a lot of pride in it, too. Yeah, that's one of the neat things about our community is everybody throws in participates and, and wants to be a part of this event. I think a lot of people were here we have the out too. Here we have the Charos de Rancho Cabrera. Actually this group won third place in the rodeo in 2018 and 2019. Good morning. Beautiful outfits. Take a look at the saddle horns. I'm always amazed by the size of the saddle horns on those Charo saddles. It looks like 46. Is she riding side saddle? I believe so. I think. Good. Beautiful. Good morning. Beautiful costume. Two of them. That's, that's hard to do, actually. Association of Realtors. Oh, wait till you see what they have here. Hey, there it is. Mutton Mustin decorated sheep inside a house. I think that's one of the best events at the rodeo. It's such a fun event. <coughs> you sell a... Oh, look, there's a little Mutton Buster rider right there. Here's another member following that Mutton Busting float of the GTO Club. That's a 1967 Pontiac. GTO convertible. Who's this making all the noise? Great Creek Volunteer Fire Department, and that's Sparky the Fire Dog. He has his own miniature fire truck. He can go over anything in that. Well, you know, Joe, we, were, we did a story about a week or so ago on the 10th anniversary of the Encino fire mm -hmm. and oh the Wildcat fires. I can't believe yeah. it's been 10 years, you know, which went through that area. Yes. That one was of the yeah. worst fire years we ever had. That's one of the scariest things I've ever witnessed. I have a lot of friends that lost a lot of, a lot of country. Of course, now it's all come back and looks beautiful, but it was scary at the time. It was. We got some more fire trucks. Great Creek. Great Creek. You know, volunteer fire department. Good result of that is a lot of these area yes. volunteer fire departments got a lot, a lot of new equipment following those fires, which is nice to see. They sure did, and they do a great job. Here we have coming up in Golden Pom Poms, the elite dance teams from Prep Academy Dance Studio coming down the street right here. This program is actually a non-competitive recreational squad, and dancers perform all around the San Angelo community. Good morning. Well, 
So what do they do? Do they start different ages? Yes, it's, it's from 5 to 18, and it's an opportunity for up-and-coming dancers to be introduced to the performance environment, and they have they just really have a lot of fun performing all around the city. Take a look at the three little ones. They're in the beginning phases. Concho Valley Republican women. They have their trailer sitting on hay bales. Look at the two saddles in the back of that truck. They're welcoming rodeo fans for the next three weeks. Speaking of rodeo, to, today at 1 o'clock is the... Uh, and the second performance of the rodeo. So Two tonight. After, it's a busy day out there. Yeah, and then 7.30 tonight. So everybody needs to get out there and check it out. Right here we have a 1955 restored Alice Chalmers WD-45. Alice that Chalmers and John Deere? No, it's, it's, that's, a, that's, that's, just a, that's just the Alice Chalmers. That's but John Deere is back there. And oh, I see. He you hadn't got here yet. That's a, it's coming. But Billy <laughs> Palmore driving that. Pretty tractor. Did a lot of work restoring that. It's in nice shape. Mm -hmm. Here comes the John Deere. Yeah, that's the, it's a 1948 model. Good night. That's old. Tractors are so different these days, aren't they? <laughs> well, yeah. The tractors nowadays, they drive themselves. Literally? Uh, yeah, really. With satellites. So. Do you sit in them while they go around and around? Or you yeah, sit there and... With the air conditioning? Air conditioning on. And walk, but, the, you know, the, it's all about precision and being efficient. So it's, that's why our farmers today, fewer farmers can feed more people. So it's that's really, a good thing. Hell, you bet you it is. But my grandfather was selling those back in the 40s. So I have a long history with the old, with the John Deere equipment. Well, it sounds great. It's probably oh, running, it's running great. We're around. They really did a good job on that one. Up turning on Oaks, we have the San Angelo Cowboy Church with the Freedom Riders. Good morning. Lots of cowboys and cowgirls on that float. Oh, look, and we even have a dog with them. <laughs> The Concho Chicks Drill Team is one of the riding groups in our parade today. They've been around since 2012. They've won first place six different times in the rodeo between over the last six or seven years. First place. And they won first place this year. Congratulations in the parade for the first place riding group, Concho Chicks Drill Team. They perform in rodeos across Texas during the summer and into the fall. second half of the San Angelo Cowboy Church on their 16-foot long flatbed. Oh, we've got live entertainment, too. The worship writers. Pretty good trick playing a drum set as you go down the road on the back of a trailer. <laughs> More cowboy church riders. Oh, look at this little waver here going around the corner. On it, well, she's holding on now. Oh there she my is. goodness! There she goes. <laughs> Also have the big cook-off going on out at the fairgrounds. Well, and anybody can go and oh, test yeah. it out. And oh, I yeah. was so interested in hearing about the jalapeno poppers. There's actually mm. a different Yes, I actually want to go out and try mm -hmm. those. Yeah, there'll, there'll be some good. I know a lot of those guys that are out there, and they've, they've got that cooking down to a fine art. So there'll be some really good food to be had. And where are they exactly? Are they over there? Well, they're over there on the around the uh, Spur Arena. Kind of between that and the old horse yeah. barn? And, uh, yeah, last night I saw them, they were really getting with it, so. So they was start smelling overnight? And oh, yes, they've like been cooking and cooking and cooking, so. Well, that's a big deal, and it, I don't know that the popper thing is in part of the overall competition. I think that's no, like local not. to San Angelo. But it's still a good opportunity to go try them out and see. I'd like to know what the variations are as 
on top of the cheese and the bacon mm -hmm. <laughs> for jalapeno poppers. I don't know. You might not want to know some of the details. Uh-oh. Some of those, got, yeah, those top secret details. <laughs> this is our first marching band and drill team this morning, Lakeview Chieftain Band members and Chiefettes. This year's band directors, Josh Bailey, Jesse Bailey, Sarah Clark, Victoria Gonzalez. The directors for the Chief Ed's drill team, Kelly Cloud and Kayla McKenzie. And congratulations to them. They received an award this year for their UIL competition. Concho Cowboy Company. Oh, we're losing all our Santa stuff. Angela Stagecoach, which is what San Angelo was before it became San Angelo. Is there somebody on the stage? There's the stage. They have a couple of ladies in the stage traveling down, uh, down South Oaks this morning. Here we have Cassie's Place, which there is a go. rescue and rehab. <laughs> for animals who suffer from neglect and abuse and then put them up for adoption. Very well behaved, dressed up Shetland pony. Well, then anyway, oh, we've got a couple right? of dogs coming along. We have the Toy Story out, uh, costume. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have some Oh, and more. is this some, some kids, some doggy owners of doggies in jail? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're wanted for being playful and being dog friendly. <laughs> How cute. Now here comes a couple more of more antique John Deere tractors. These two guys. Uh, they have these tractor, tractors Roger, on top, top Roger shape. Glass and Zach Glass from Great Creek. I'm so glad you know these, Joey. That's another antique. A Model G. Roger's driving a Model G. That's an oldie goldie. And then Zach's on a 1010, which was built in the 60s. Is that about maximum speed? Those go faster. Oh, no, they'll go they? faster than that. They'll go faster. But they've done a really pretty job restoring those old Is machines. there a market for those tires now? I guess that they're still... Oh, yeah, they still... still get oh, yeah. Here comes JDM Diesel. It's a big truck. I'm guessing it's a big diesel truck. Mm -hmm. Look at that bull. It's a paper machine. Paper mache, yeah. And we got a clown. They did a lot of work on that float. That oh, it won first place in the commercial. Oh, it even division. has smoke coming out of the There's out your, of the pool. Your first place winners. Congratulations to them. Charles and Carrie Geller, along with Affordable Painting Company and Concho Valley Air and Services. That's an authentic Amish tourist limousine. Uh, Call it the Amish Uber. <laughs> Came from Indiana, and that's a Belgian draft horse. His name's Tiny, okay? <laughs> Where's Tiny? City Lumber and Wholesale, the nice tractor all decked out, built by City Lumber Incorporated with all of their City Lumber employees. Sure, we were talking about the Midway and the Carnival uh, yesterday, too. It's open for people to go. Of course, the stock oh, yes. people aren't there, but mm -hmm. the Midway opens at 4, and then the Carnival opens at 5 every day. Yes. And one of the nice things about having the event split up this way is the parking's a lot better. I noticed that last night. <laughs> so, uh, you, so, you know, if you're thinking, oh, I don't want to fight the, the parking, don't worry about it. It's easy to find a place to park close by, so come on out and enjoy the Carnival. And uh, I think they've got a bunch of new rides out there. It's fun for a lot of people. Blue um, Bear and the Blue Cross Blue Shield employee volunteer team are coming into view now. Blue Bear has his warm suit on this morning. 
Oh, look, can you see the little guy on the bull cart? Take a look at that. <laughs> It's a little stroller. Then the rodeo ball. clown. Our guys can get a shot of that. And now he's got it by made. His mom. He he's does have it made. It. He's got the deal now. Okay. Here's the <laughs> Palo Pinto County Sheriff's Posse is one of our riding groups this yeah, morning. Baby. One first place. Congratulations to you all. For Thank the you for town. coming. That's a lot of work in the morning, you know, you get up, drive to where you're going, take your horse trailer. Yeah, and those guys are here every year. Here we have the YMCA of San Angelo. They have, even includes an oil rig. It's perfect for West Texas, right? Yeah, got oil shooting out the top of it. And right behind them, the San Angelo Central High School Texans. Uh -huh. Watch how they come around this corner perfectly in line. <clears throat> the Carolyn, you were a Texan, weren't I you? I was. I have done that. Same yeah. thing. And those belts, those leather belts they're wearing, mm -hmm. we wore those. The boots yeah. are a little different, but they're, well, the, they're those yeah, are the, the traditional Yeah, the uniforms are the same as I remember. Texan outfits that have been around forever. I'm Ours not going to say how shiny. long it's been. <laughs> not very many. <laughs> Johnson's Funeral Home has the float decorated with lots of red, white, blue balloons. Patriotic and rodeo theme. This is Miss West Texas Fair and Rodeo, Bobby Loran. She's a recent graduate of Miss Western State University with honors cum laude. Here we have turning the corner is Rusas. Mexico, they always have some delicious Mexican treats for everybody to enjoy, and they even have the live entertainment. These are some outriders that we have too. Several groups today. We have a lot of horses and horseback riders in this parade today. Well, it's a nice day to be out riding. Like you said, a lot better than in February. Mm -hmm. Twin Mountain Fence Company coming around the corner now. Oh, they have the lawn furniture out. Now, that's a good idea. <coughs> the little guy's not sure bull rider. to ride the bucking bull or not. <laughs> and there's a little, little kid goat. They have some fence supplies in the back. This is a 1965 Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> what is this behind me? B. Ramirez Roofing. Boy, the roofers have been busy around here. Yeah, I guess he fixes dog houses. That little short ladder. <laughs> That's, That's the only great. thing he can crawl up on top of. See his gas can in case he runs out of gas? <laughs> oh. It's important. Angelo Catholic School, right here in the Ford Angelo with the Catholic trailer. School. Lots of little cowboys and cowgirls on that this morning. <laughs> Angelo Catholic School won first place in the non-commercial division category. This Congratulations, year. Congratulations to them. Here comes another sheriff's posse. Parker County Sheriff's Posse. They have a long time tradition in rodeo parades. Have received lots of awards. Doug Leeper, Stephen Schultz, Charles McFarland, Troy Rogers, Rowdy Turner, Matt Gallatin. Her sweetheart this year is Shylin Rogers. Tonight after the rodeo, you need to be sure to go to the Buffalo Social Club. Jeremy Better. Stuttered's going to be playing live music there in the. Who? Jeremy Stuttered. Better known as the Beer Barn. Yeah, at the Buffalo Social Club, i.e. the Beer Barn. There's a lineup of live performers most evenings, too. Oh, yes, yes. And uh, 
That's a big posse. Wouldn't want them coming after me. There's a lot of there are a lot of riders in that posse. From Parker County. Again. And tomorrow the carnival open up opens up at 11 a.m. On Sunday. So gonna have a long All day afternoon. Long. You betcha. Angelo's best funnel cake and churros. I think that's one of the best parts about going to the rodeo. <laughs> so good. You have to get a funnel cake at least once. Now, can you get those anywhere else other than during the rodeo? I didn't know that you could get them anywhere else. Uh, every, every rodeo stock show I've been to, they have funnel cakes. They are the best. You can see down at the end of Concha Street, we have the Wildcat band members coming our way. This is something. They've had seven consecutive UIL First Division ratings in marching and have advanced to the state marching contest three of the last five years. David Andrus is the band director this year. Ethan Chapman is the drum major. Water Valley Wildcat Band. large band for Water Valley. Nice to have him in the break this morning. Yeah. Another antique tractor coming up. Here's another antique trailer tractor, and he has look at how many people he has on that one. That's a 45 model LA. Driven by Danny Sears. It looks like he's got a load of grandkids on the back. How many people on the back? Got three of them. Three grandkids. Yep. SMX staff management, and here comes some more cheerleaders. Looks like Lincoln Junior High. Lincoln, Lincoln, Lincoln Middle, Middle School. School. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we have to I've, I've it. got, um, I'm still in the old timey <laughs> deal where too. we had junior highs. Texas State Guard members, this is the 3rd Brigade, 2nd Battalion in today's radio parade. They've been busy helping with uh, coronavirus vaccination sites around the state this year. They've had a busy few months. Tom Green County 4-H Horse Club. Parade winners in San Angelo and Ballinger. They're also students who win horse judging competitions at county, district, and the state level. Yeah, they got second place for the in-town riding group. Riding group competition. Mm -hmm. They participated in a lot of... She's carrying her plaque. Congratulations. Congrats. Thomas Ernest coming with an antique farm engine, and get this, 101 years old. And it's driving a five-gallon ice cream free freezer all on a flatbed trailer, <laughs> and 101 years old. Look at it. <laughs> I wonder if he has ice cream in there. Fairbanks Morse engine. We have another band coming down Concha now. This is the TLCA band from San Angelo.
big band. right now. I see some familiar faces coming down the street. We have some familiar faces with the KSAN KLST crew. I'm seeing some of our co-workers. We have your co-anchor Greg Kerr in the back with KLST. Does he have his cowboy hat on? Greg, no, he doesn't. Where's the hat? He said that was the best he could do today. Then we have Cassie Munoz, Caleb but he Brown. Has his mask. What do we have in there? Chris Boone? And he has the wave. Good morning, guys. Sonora Good Scott, Sonora. Aaron Ayers. I know those guys. How come you two always have to work while they do fall they have the so much. We have fun here too, right? Well, that's true. American Association of Sheriff Posses and Riding Clubs. Twin Mountain Riding Club also. They won third place in the out-of-town riding group competition today. Congrats to them. They're riding and waving. Here we have some of our Santa Fe, Santa Fe trail riders, and they actually just got into town Thursday night. It was a seven-day trail ride. Well, they do that every year, and it, was, it started with the sesquicentennial however many years ago, and it's been a tradition with this rodeo for years now, and people come from across the United States. Of course, this was a little bit of a strange year because of the coronavirus shutdowns. But they actually, they bring those wagons and they go for about a week or so. They started uh, at a ranch in Sterling County this year. And they, you know, make different, do different routes and then they camp out some nights. Good morning. Hi. And they always end up back in San Angelo and spend the night at Fort Concho, Fort Concho. For the night before the parade. And it's always so nice to get to see them. Take a look at these wagons and the different shapes and the different wheels that they have on them. Some have mules, some have draft animals pulling them, draft horses. Palmer Feed and Seed. Congratulations to you all. First place. Third. First place in the non-commercial wagon division. Congratulations to Palmer's. Take a look at the mules pulling that little bitty wagon. Let's see, look at the tires on, on this one. Some of them, some of them have vehicle tires on them, like that one, for smooth ride. Three mules yeah, pulling and, that and, wagon. And it's got suspension on it, too. Three on this one, too. <laughs> Come to the Santa Fe Trail Ride Outriders. We went over 100 miles this year the 18th year. They've been doing this almost 20 years now. Can't believe it's been that long. Good morning. Alfredo Martinez was the trail boss this year. Candela Roofing Corporation coming in with a trailer. We have some excited rodeo goers right here. These are the Coleman County Cowgirls. <laughs> also wanted to thank Longhorn Coffee Company today for handing out lots of cups of coffee to all the hundreds of people who helped put this rodeo parade together today. Thank you for that. And here comes the trucks that always the last float in the parade, the poop sweepers. Cleaning them up as we watch them coming down Concho. We'll take a final look at the Coleman County Cowgirls as they They're, are going north. Their rodeo is actually this summer, June. 
an 80 plus year rodeo. It's a big tradition in these parts. Well, with that, I think we'll wrap it up as we take a final look at all the people who are, came down to downtown San Angelo to watch this year's San Angelo Rodeo Parade. We thank you for watching. Lisette, Joey, it was fun. It yeah. was so much fun. Now, tonight, Joey, what, uh, what can we expect out at the grounds? Well, 7.30 is a rodeo performance. Uh, tonight, 1 o'clock this afternoon. And there's is some tickets still available oh, yes. for this afternoon. Yes, ma'am. And, uh, of course, the cook-off going on. Be now, sure can you to go, go out right there. now? Could you go from the parade and go straight out to the fairgrounds now? What time is it? Oh, yeah. I bet the carnival. Well, let's see. I think that everything opens up about 12. Pretty, so pretty today. soon. And like we mentioned yeah, earlier, anyway. the cook-off, they're doing samples. Mm -hmm. And it's for a good cause, actually. Raises money for scholarships. So so the deal is the barbecue cookers have a little donation jar. Right. And mm -hmm. you can drop something off. And then whoever gets the most donations wins more points. But mm -hmm. that money all goes to, to the, the, the scholarships. Yes. Correct. Yes. Scholarships. And they have uh, yeah. beef and brisket. Uh, Ribs. Ribs. The poppers. That's but the, the poppers, too, they just don't count as uh, the points and to chicken. win. That's and chicken. Those are the different categories. Like lots of fun. Lots I'm of excited to go out and yeah. try Going that. on as we traditionally have the rodeo parade in the first weekend of the rodeo run, the three-week run of the rodeo, mm -hmm. will continue. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you for watching the San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Parade. This broadcast has been sponsored by Trans-Texas Southwest Credit Union.